Hello and welcome to Glasgow Rangers Nation, guys. Sunday morning here in the UK. Um, obviously, early Sunday morning, where it's about 10, 10 o'clock, I think, recording this video. Uh, obviously, out and about. I'm not, at, not in the office today. I'm actually at my parents' house. So I'm actually filming in their dining room. Uh, that shows you the commitment, guys, Glasgow Rangers Nation, to bring you the news every day. Whenever it comes out, we are here. We are bringing you that news. We are committed 100% to bringing you your team every day. Obviously, as I've said to you millions of times before, this this channel is run by the fans for you, the fans. Um, and if you want that content, if you need that daily Rangers fix, then hit that sub or ring that notification bell and come and join the over 1,300 others who've already done it. Well, like I said, the, se the season's now over. Season's over, but thank God. Thank God the season's over. Uh, what has been a fairly awful, horrible season. And I was watching CJ Novo this morning uh, when I woke up and uh, liked his analogy of putting it in a, in a black plastic bag and tying it off and throwing it in the attic like you do with a Christmas tree. Love that analogy from CJ. Uh, still trying to get CJ on the show. Uh, hasn't responded yet, but we'll keep on going. CJ, if you're watching, please come on at the podcast with, my, with myself and uh, Victoria. Well... We're going to talk about another transfer link. As we've said before, we're going to be linked, aren't we, with every man, his dog, his reindeer, his cat, and his goldfish over the next few weeks and months. And obviously with the January with the January transfer window, no, that's not right. I mean, with the summer transfer window even opening on June the 14th, hopefully we'll start to see some more announcements. As Michael Beale uh, alluded to in his press conference the other day when he said that... Um, Obviously, he couldn't make any more announcements at the moment because obviously football was still ongoing around Europe and the fact that obviously the transfer window does not reopen until um, June the 14th. Um, the summer transfer window reopens for players to start to bolster their squads ahead of the new seasons. And Rangers obviously are back in pre-season training on the 30th of June. And Michael Beale wishes was wishing his holiday away to get back to work. Rather weird that how many of us wish our holidays away to get back to training. Wow, there we go. Anyway, uh, so Rangers have been linked with yet another centre forward. Obviously, that is a pre premier position, especially with pictures emerging. Obviously, of Alfie on holiday in Colombia uh, this morning. But, uh, this is a Greek player. Now, obviously, I know some Greek players have perhaps not had the best of reputations in the Premiership, going back to uh, Samaras, who played for that lot. Um, but this player is a young player who has a very promising future, by all accounts. Now, I'm going to do my best with his name. It's not easy to say. His name is Anastasios Duviakis or Duvakis or Duvikis. I don't know. It's one of those. I'm not, I am not speak Greek, so I don't know. And I think it's Duvikis or Duvakis. And if he signs, I'm sure we'll find out how to say his name. But he's currently playing in the Eredivisie for FC Utrecht. Um, previously, obviously, he has been in Greece where he came up, came up through the system at Asteris Tripolis. I think that's how you say it. Again, another name that I'm massacring this morning. Um, then before he went to Volos, I presume that's how you say it, before in 2021 joining FC Utrecht in, uh, in the area. That's slightly easier to say than those Greek names. He is a Greek national team player. He has played 15 times for his country. Um, he's a centre forward. He's now an out centre forward. He's six foot one. So again, a big dude who can play up front uh, and cause a bit of damage. So let's find out a little bit about Anastasios Duvikis, Duvakis, Duvikas, whatever. Let's just call him the Big Greek, shall we? Let's find out a bit more information about the Big Greek. Well, first thing to note is he is the top scorer in the Eredivisie this season. Obviously, a season that has been uh, dominated by Feyenoord. Um, Anastasios Duvikis, who hasn't even got his picture there, is scored 18 goals this season and uh, above Xavi Simons, the PSV player who's got 17. And you might recognise that name in third place there, Sidney Van Hoydonk. Yes, son of Pierre Van Hoydonk, who played for that lot from across the city. Uh, that could be an ironic signing, wouldn't it, if he went after him uh, to bring Van Hoydonk to Rangers? <laughs> who knows? And then in fourth, in fourth, you've got Santiago Jimenez of Feyenoord. And then finally, Luke de Jong of, the very old Luke de Jong of PSV. So, um, you know, there we go. Apologies for the background noise this morning, guys. I do live in a zoo, a bit of a zoo here this morning, um, which when you've got uh, kids who won't behave themselves. Anyway, so let's have a little bit more look and information about Anastasios Duvikis. Here we go. So, Anastasios Duvikis, and there's his Greek spelling. If you all want to have a chance, a chance at a go at spelling his Greek name, he's an out and out centre forward. You can see from that main position all these stats taken from transfer market, which is an excellent um, place to have them. 
He is born, born in 1999. Jesus, that's a young man. Uh, he's 23 years old, 1.86 metres. That's six points. That's six foot one in old money. Greek attacking centre forward, right footed. Um, currently plays for FC Utrecht. Is under contract until the June of the 30th, 2025. So you we would have to pay a transfer fee for him. Now his transfer fee is expected to be around about six million euros that is expected to be the value that fc utrecht would want for their greek striker now i know what you're all saying you're all saying i mean what's six million euros in pounds worth about five million pounds in your british sterling it's about five million anastasios duvikis would cost um very highly rated let's have a look at some of his other stats from this season so he's made 31 appearances for fc utrecht this season he scored 18 goals in those 31 appearances and assisted four of the goals so 22 goal contributions in 31 games is pretty decent return especially playing in an fc utrecht team that weren't particularly great this season um you know in terms of fc utrecht where were they in the league well we'll have a little look at that they were seventh place uh, this season behind Sparta, Trente, Alkmaar, Ajax, PSV and the Champions Feyenoord. So, you know, um, not bad seventh place, but not a great team. Obviously, in a league that is dominated by those big three, PSV, uh, uh, PSV uh, Feyenoord and Ajax. So, 22 goal contributions is fairly decent. In a, in, 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 like I said, in a mid, sort of upper mid-table team like Utrecht. He played in 70% of the starting 11s for Utrecht this season and 69% of their minutes and had 42% participation in their goals. So it contributed to nearly half their goals this season. Um, you know, he is a very promising young player by all accounts. No, I have not watched any FC Utrecht football because I don't watch the Eredivisie rather surprisingly. Not the sort of thing I tune into on a regular basis. Now, obviously, you know, there is a mixed bag, isn't there, when it comes to Eredivisie top strike, top strikers and Eredivisie golden boot winners. You know, Holland is obviously seen as one of the homes of of total football isn't it and yes you've got some fantastic players that have emerged from that golden boot list in the past uh, for from uh, from holland you've got sebastian haller memphis Depay, luis suarez uh classian huntelaar and of course rude van nistelroy who've all won the golden boot and gotten on to great success but yes we have got those players that have been enough to disaster like alfonso alves and matia kesman for example who have obviously struggled elsewhere, have scored in, in Holland, but not scored anywhere else. Luke de Jong is another example of that. Um, you know, it's obviously open to what side will do Vickis for when he moves on from FC Utrecht this summer, which he does appear to be going to do because there is a number of clubs apparently interested in acquiring the big Greeks' services. A um, whole host of clubs, apparently, according to a number of um, uh, reports in a number of media outlets and on a number of websites at this moment in time, guys, as I scour the internet looking for Rangers transfer news and Rangers news for you to bring you all the latest. Now, according to Team Talk and a number of other sites like Fancast, um, Transfer Tavern and others, Rangers' interest in the 23-year-old uh, Big Greek is genuine. Uh, Utrecht. Uh, Chief Jordi Zuidam indicated, though, that um, around about five to six million pounds would do the trick to get uh, Duvikis away from Utrecht this summer. Um, you know, a fee which could be beyond Rangers means this summer, whereas we obviously we, none of us know what the actual budget is this summer. Although Michael Beale did allude to the fact that he had more money than any other uh, Rangers um managers but you know we do need a major rebuild are the board prepared to commit now james bisgrove has said that obviously the current investors in the club are more than willing to invest the money needed to to fund the bills transfer plans uh Divicus has an outstanding goals per minute ratio um you know he is obviously a very very good player um According to Algemen Dagblad, which is a, a publication in the Netherlands, Duvikis is likely to make his farewell area divisie appearance against FC Emmen on Sunday, although Utrecht do have the Europa League playoffs to look forward to before the season comes to an end. Um, and like I said, he is reportedly in position to get that, uh, that golden boot. Now, though obviously PSV wonder kid Javi Simmons um, is obviously the biggest name out there um, at this moment in time. Um, he could over still overtake take, uh, Duvikis, but Duvikis obviously is in pole position at this moment with that extra goal that he has scored. 
Um, there is obviously, like I said, a very, very strong likelihood that this guy will move on this summer. Um, the Rangers will obviously be interested according to all those rumours. Well, guys, let me know what do you think of the big Greek? Do you think Duvickis could be someone who would come in and regularly get us 20 to 25 goals a season in the SPL? Something we are clearly missing, especially, you know, it was illustrated over a number of games this season. Someone with that clinical touch in the final third well thank you for watching glasgow rangers nation guys if you enjoyed the content if you want daily rangers content if you want your team every day which i'm sure you do let's face it us rangers fans we love to talk rangers please hit that sub ring that notification bell and give the video a like guys it does help out thank you for watching guys i'll be back to speak to you again very soon here on the channel glasgow rangers nation